wanted to create something that could benefit from an animal organization, so we thought a slanted roof doghouse to send to arcs would be good, so all the rain would go off the roof and snow, so there wouldn't be anything dripping down. We chose to build something for the County Humane Society, and it's a snuffle mat. A snuffle mat is something that you could put dog treats or dog food in and the dog will have to sniff out the food. It's to make them eat slower. We decided like an original cat house and then we started with a cat house that had like a little bed at the side and then we started like a cat house that looked like a real house a person would live in. But then we finally said, why don't we curve it a bit? It could fit a fat cat so it was like huge the whole so it was meant for baby kittens to practice their jumping so if they um, jumped in they would there would be a treat inside it's kind of like a toy and for something to sleep because it fleece is really soft to cats so they like to if they get tired they would either like to sleep in it or it's also like a toy because of the knots on the sides they can pick at those there's a little sleep area so the cats can sleep at the top because cats like the high spots. I have a cat and I was wondering that he will like it. I'll imagine to see if he likes that. We had to do a lot of research to see how we're sticking the pipes together and what objects we should hang because if we did them uh, to, like if we did them like plastic or something really like thin, then the dogs would just chew, chew through them. On day one, we planned everything, and then on day two, we went to the working room to put all our PVC pipes together. And then on day three, me and my buddy, we put our um, little blanket thing over it and screwed it in. And then we took it to tell a spark, and we performed it there. You always have to have a plan and you have to go through all these stages before you start your prototype because you have to go, you have to make plans, you have to do a lot of research, research because then you know exactly what you're doing and all that. If we don't, if we start building without a plan, then it's just gonna probably fall down or not work. It normally gets me up and moving and I get to use a lot of different tools that I haven't used before. And I got to work it together to, as a team with my friends. Building is kind of fun because then you can come up with your own ideas and then turn them into reality. We communicated by reflecting our journey with other people and engineers. And so we went to tell a spark and showed off our doghouse. When I was first went there, I sort of felt a little bit nervous because I didn't know how much like people I'm gonna answer, what questions, what if I don't know. I was thinking about that. And then in the meantime, I knew what, what I was gonna say. And normally my team would just tell me out. At first I was really nervous because I don't normally do like, I don't, I'm not normally in front of a lot of people often. So at first it was nervous, but then when people started like, coming over and talking to us, it got better. If you want to be an engineer, you, you have to identify things like choose what you want to make and what you'll need. I liked building it and everything, but I think my whole group liked giving it away to stray dogs and hurt dogs. It's kind of sad letting your work go. It's really sad. It's just something that I like and I might be an engineer when I grow up so I want to experience these things.